Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be going to the Lego store because there's a new release. It is uh, February 16th, 2021, and today's the day that the new Porsche 911 comes out, which is part of the Creator Expert lineup, now rebranded as uh, 18 Plus. And I am super pumped up because we have pretty much all of the Creator Expert vehicles, and this is gonna be a really nice addition to that collection. The Creator Expert vehicles are just right over here on the shelf beside the larger Technic vehicles, in which we recently added the orange Porsche. We'll just call it the orange Porsche. We've got the uh, London bus, camper van, Ferrari, Mustang, Aston Martin, Fiat, Mini Cooper, and Beetle. So I'm super excited to add the Porsche to the shelves here in the Lego room. Oh yeah, and we also got the Harley Davidson there as well. And there are similar ones that are pop culture related. So there's like the Ecto-1 and also some of the Batmobilia in which we've recently updated as well. These vehicles are super fun to build. They have some great part usage and some very interesting building techniques. So yeah, let's roll on out to the Lego store and pick up the new Lego Porsche 911. And here we are at the Lego store here in West Edmonton Mall. I love these signs, they're so cool. And here in the front window, we can see the new Porsche 911 on display. It's actually a two-in-one set, which is pretty cool. You can see the two different models on the display here. Oh, wow. It looks really good. Very clean looking model. Nice lines, nice curvature. The interior actually looks very detailed as well. It's a really nice looking display here in the front window of the Lego store. Really excited about that. We also still have the Ninjago Gardens, Coliseum, Disney Castle, Medieval Blacksmith, and modular buildings on display. I'm essentially the only one here, so why don't we do a little loop around the store here, see what else is on display. Hey, they got rid of the Santa Claus, and we now have our pirate over here. And then we have some of the newer city stuff here. And just right back there, you're gonna see the Porsche on display in the Creator Expert vehicle shelf there, where you got the uh, Aston Martin, also the Mustang, the Fiat, and the Harley Davidson. Then we have some Chinese New Year stuff here as well. Over here, we have the UCS A-Wing the Death Star playset, and also Poe Dameron's X-Wing. And just below the large brick-built helicopter, we have the second entrance to the LEGO store. Got a few other things on display here. The deep sea vessel. And I believe on the other side, we have our display with the shark. Oh no, look at that. The shark has moved. We got Bowser's castle here the pirate ship, and the three-in-one beach house, along with the Manchester United Stadium, and the trophy. I like that. And then in the last window, we just have a little Ninjago display as well. Another hour or so before this awesome Lego store opens up, and we can get in there, check it all out, and also get our new Porsche 911. Right there. So everybody, when we're here at the Lego store, we have to address the question, which version of this Porsche are we gonna build? Are we gonna build the Turbo or the Targa? Uh, I think I like the hardtop and the classic look of the spoiler on the Turbo, but the convertible of the Targa is pretty cool too. It's gonna be pretty neat how we have both options. Uh, we can build either version. And from what I understand, you're going to build it essentially the same. And then at a certain point in the instructions, you can go left. You can take the red pill or the blue pill and build the Targa or the Turbo. It's a Matrix reference. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'm really excited to uh, get this set. I, I haven't watched any of the designer videos. I haven't done any research on it. I just know that I want it because it is just a classic vehicle that looks extremely cool. And I'm really pumped up about getting this new set and integrating it onto the shelves with all of the other LEGO Creator Expert vehicles. So uh, VIPs can buy it today, which is uh, February 16th. Uh, and then it comes available to the general public on March 1st. If you guys don't have a VIP card, scoop one up. You essentially get your VIP points, which equates to 5% cash back. Definitely worth it if you're an avid LEGO collector or even a smaller LEGO collector because, you know, those points stack up pretty quickly and you get rewarded with free LEGO essentially. So of course, in our favorite part of the store here, we got the new Porsche. Beautiful. Perfect. Got the second one on the rack. 1,458 pieces. 10295 is the set number. What a gorgeous box that this thing comes in. 18 plus style packaging. Got a nice image of the 911 Turbo on the front there. I like this uh, text in the top left corner as well. The Porsche logo, of course, in the bottom right. And then we'll see some more detailed images of it on the back. You'll see the sizes. It's 35 centimeters or 13.5 inches long, 10 centimeters or four inches tall. And of course we saw that in the front window. Then you can see it is the two in one set. So the Targa on the left and the turbo on the right. Ooh, ooh, dang, Lego, dang, no tape. You're gonna make us ruin that box there. Ooh, brutal. I don't know about that. Oh well, it is what it is. Looks like we changed this pod here to uh, Monkey Kid. Got some Monkey Kid stuff here. Hey, there is some new Monkey Kid sets coming out in the near future. And there's a waterfall one that looks pretty awesome. Comes with some pretty good pieces. Can't quite recall what it's called. This boat actually looks legendary. Monkey Kids Team Secret HQ. This is the first time that I've seen this set built. And I gotta give it to them. Clever to have it built so that we can actually see it. And then of course we have the Demon Bull King right here. Hey, actually look really good. I like the, uh, the sticker elements on the side of that yellow container there, which uh, looks like, you know, some graffiti. Very cool. I've never had a look at it, and here it is, intriguing me. Although I will say, we recently did the detailing in our boatyard and beach area, and unfortunately, it's just too full. There's no room for that stuff. Now here in the three-in-one section, there is a set that I've been eyeing up for quite some time, and it's the Surfer Beach House. Like I said, we were working on our beach area, and we added all of our cabanas and custom beach houses to that area. Now there's a reason that I haven't been getting it and it's because an e I've received an email from one of my fans telling me not to buy it. So for that reason, I'm holding off for a little while. Here in the Technic area, we got the large uh, excavator there. Also the off-road buggy. Actually looks like a lot of fun. I saw that going around the Lego store last time we were here and you could zoom pretty fast. I was actually quite surprised by it. And now we have the AT-AT -AT Walker here. We might be getting a UCS AT-AT -AT Walker. Apparently. Rumor has it. I don't know where the rumors come from, but they came from somewhere. Hey, they actually pulled some of the panels off the UCS Falcon. I barely get a chance to look inside mine. All these interior details I forget about. You see the two panels in which they've taken off there. To reveal those interior details and then some more mechs in the ninjago showcases here as well in particular we have zane's titan mech battle and the fire stone mech mechs have always intrigued me but i've never moved forward with getting them same with the destiny bounty ships they look really interesting. Once again, just my harbor is so full. It'd have to become a shelf piece, and I just don't have the space 
to add more things to my shelves at this particular moment in time. But that dragon head on the front, it looks awesome. But I just don't have the shelf space to start collecting more Ninjago uh, besides the Ninjago City sets that I currently have, the three of them there. Not sure if we'll eventually get any more of those. I'm curious when this one is gonna retire. Not too sure when. Hey, they've moved the Speed Champions yet again. They've put them over here, mixed in with the city. And looks like they might have slid city down a bit. And as we pass through city, we're gonna approach uh, friends, Mario, and much more. There's the Bowser's Castle in which we saw in the front window. Looks like they're doing a double point promotion on the Master Your Adventure set here. I'm not sure when the next official double points promotion will be happening. Maybe sometime in March, don't mark my words on that. I don't know, but I'm sure when they do do it, you will see me here looking to get some new sets, of course. There's the party boat, no rescue mission boat. I've never seen that at the LEGO store, only at like Walmarts and stuff like that. Then we have superheroes, Minecraft, Harry Potter, and a little sale section, which seems to be reduced. There is the droid command set. And also they had all of the hidden side stuff on sale at one point, but it seems like they're essentially sold out here at the West Edmonton Mall Lego store. So we will definitely be getting the Porsche 911, of course. I also want to check out the pick brick wall, but there's a little bit of a line up there and they're only letting one person look at the pick brick wall at a time. Here it looks like they have, you know, Stranger Things, Medieval Blacksmiths, ISS, all of the vehicles, the piano on the bottom, also the bookshop, the corner garage, some art sets, brickheads, friends, fossils, roller coasters, along with some others. So a really good selection here, of course, at the West Emma Tamal Lego store, which is crazy. I'm gonna get in line for the pick brick wall. So before we get in there and have a look at the wall, these are the pieces that are overflow from the wall. We got reddish brown one by fours, turquoise one by fours, lots of spiders, cups full of spiders. Ah, then we got uh, dark tan or beige one by four. If they have dark tan or, or beige uh, plate, I'm definitely gonna get some for the ocean as I need to create some more wet sand. And then we have some baguettes, some pink hearts, uh, some red one, sorry, like dark red one by two, uh, light blue snot bricks, and much more. I can't wait to check out the massive pick brick wall though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. All right, so we've entered into the wall. I've had a few commenters say they love when I do a full review of the wall. So we're gonna take a look at all the pieces. If you guys want, you guys can pause the video just to see if there's any pieces here that catch your eye and you're in the Edmonton area, you can come by and check out this magnificent wall here at West Summit Mall. And we got some trans clear slopes there. I also saw some gold one by ones. Two by two jumpers and tans still available. Also one by one cylinders in trans clear available. We have more one by one cylinders here. And check this out. Perfect for the go-kart. Oops, I'm not supposed to touch it. I will keep that one in my hand. Forgot about that. Also some pink one by fours, yellow one by sixes. But these are perfect for go-karts, uh, which we can create for the amusement park. And they're the little chassis. So I think those will be good to get for the amusement park. Looks like we got some carrots, some white one by threes some inverted arch pieces. Can't quite remember what those are called, but they're in black. Reddish brown brick, two by two. These black circular tiles are pretty cool, two by two. Fence elements here on the right in white. One by four light bluish gray plate. That might be good to get. Two by two plate in light bluish gray, also in black. One, this is awesome. I think that's light turquoise, one by six. 
could do some different uh, colors of water in your ocean, similar to Pirates of Barracuda Bay. We got some brackets and some snot bricks, black and green. Some more brackets and white. Ooh, telescope pieces in sand green. That's a good piece. Some two by three plate, lots of uh, plate in uh, light bluish gray or light stone gray. White one by two tile, that's a good piece. I think I'm gonna get some of those white one by two tile. They're gonna be good for, I don't know what, something. <laughs> for tiling. And I better get some of these chassis for our go-karts in the amusement park. So I'm gonna get one cup today. Various pieces. So we're getting one cup. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, there's a lot more that I want to get, but we'll save that for another trip. I got to come back here on Saturday to meet uh, somebody from the Bricklink store. And I'm sure we'll check out that, uh, or this pick a brick wall in more depth there. I just noticed these in 1x2, that's pretty cool too. So that's it for today on the pick a brick wall. All yours, my friend. Thank you, dude. Looks like we will not be getting a free gift with purchase today. The only thing that you can get right now is this here. It's Lloyd's quad bike with Ninjago purchases over $40. And this here is on our pod with our brick sketches, brick heads, keychains, etc. Not a whole lot has changed here. However, there's gonna be some more changes and some more new issues coming out here on March 1st in the Lego store. So everybody, that's really about it for today here at the Lego store in West Edmonton Mall with the almost life-size Porsche Porsche, Lamborghini CN, sorry about that. I've been saying Porsche, Porsche, whatever you want to call it. North American saying and European saying. Uh, but the new Porsche 911 Turbo came out today. We came here to the Lego store and we got it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, also, we checked out the pick a brick wall. We will be back to check it out in more depth in the near future, uh, next weekend or so. Every time I, I'm here, I just marvel over this thing here behind me. It's, it's amazing. Uh, had a really good time today at the Lego store. Just sort of want to get home, get making this video, and get building this Porsche and continue with our Lego City details, which will be happening as we progress forward into the future, of course. You guys remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on the YouTube channel in the very near future. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.